cryptocurrency market has not moved much. The way we are looking at the market right now, yes, we do see that the dollar is dropping. Yes, we do note that the door is actually breaking to the upside, showing you that yes, the Fed has paused and that's slowing down dollar and giving more risk on sentiment in the stock market. So the same is also visible on the Nasdaq itself. So while you actually move on to cryptocurrency market, what do we actually see? We can observe that we had trend line, but we do understand Binance being the biggest exchange with a lot of trading volume have BNB as an issue right now. So if we manage to bounce back up, retest and break in, that should be fine. But if we get rejected at this particular point, that is going to be a concern for the entire market. Because now we actually go back. You can actually look at the thought process like, okay, the rates have been paused, but the rates are still high. What does that actually mean for a lot of these banking institutions? How can that banking failure play out for the crypto market? Can it be positive? Can it be negative? For some, it doesn't look positive. We'll have to discuss through that and why that is happening right now. But for some, it does look like we are holding on to a trend line. So we're going to break that down here now. Welcome to the Scientific Investor family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of crypto. Right now we are watching that quant, a great asset, high utility asset, is slowly breaking to the downside and right now it is at $97. Recent local swing high was like $194, but right now it is at $97. So if you actually go back to me, I was actually giving you guys this narrative, like I think price may actually drop. And in between, you're going to watch multiple level of supports. And the recent update before the price actually dropped, I gave you guys this. The support level one is 97. And where are we right now? We are at that point. So while we observe that if we are breaking that particular point, now that's a concern. Now, why is that? Yes, Quant is a strong project. It has a lot of adoption, but that also goes back to what Ether is about because it's actually a layer two built on top of Ether. So if Ether is about to break lower and go much lower, causing some level of issues with all these recent news and narrative coming out of the ACC, that is going to create some concern. So while you're in the market looking at a lot of these assets, make sure you understand where that project comes from because if you actually understand the macro narrative now you actually get to see the fundamentals the narrative and everything together before you actually make a decision so now going back to xrp right here we are actually watching the market go back and we need to actually see the market bouncing off from this trend line so if the market gets supported there I would say that is actually positive. That's not a bad deal. It's going to be great. But what are we looking at? The moving average, the 21 day moving average is close to 0.44. So price coming back down to that point is not a bad deal. So right now, the price is slowing down. We are at 0.47, which is a local support. I agree. If you actually look at the previous resistance turning into a new support, yes, that's valid. But again, that's a short term level to watch. And while we actually watch that BNB is putting this amount of weight into the market at a time when Ether is breaking lower, creating more panic in the altcoin side of things, yeah, we do have to understand that short-term trend lines are going to break. We did break that to the downside. We did reach the first level of support. Now, keep this in mind. You have multiple level of supports to watch one of which the strongest one would be somewhere close to 0 0.4, 0.41 region. Before that, yes, we will see the price getting supported by 0.44 because it also happens to be the 21 day moving average on a weekly chart. So that kind of gives us a little bit more confidence about what the market is doing right now. But clearly, we haven't actually put in a higher high here. We did put in a higher low. That kind of gives us some level of confidence. But what we do want to watch 
here is that we put in a higher low again. That would now give us a thought process like, okay, we are most likely going to break this level of resistance to the upside sooner or later. But remember, ether is an important factor in this market. So if you're actually eyeing at ether and saying like, okay, that's about to drop and that is going to drag the market along with it. Or you would like to see that people move out of ether and place that amount of money into other coins which do have some fundamentals because on a macro which is a weekly chart this is what you're watching on ether the trend line has been broken we discussed about this last time once you do this you actually drop crazy the price action which comes after this does not always look good so if you are in this asset consider taking some profits if you are in some now Going back to a monthly chart of the same asset, now we can say, okay, it is still positive, right? We're still looking at a positive movement in the market. We can still go to the upside, but short term, we may still see further correction. Now, what does that actually mean for a lot of these crypto assets, which are actually slowly trending higher, is putting in a higher high, higher low. Now we haven't put in a higher high yet, but we are still somewhere close to a higher low. So that's something positive. But then you actually come onto the market, you wanna actually see like, what we are doing in terms of the support resistance we are actually making something positive here say if you actually i the rsi it is showing you that i'm making a lower low however you'll observe the fact that price is making a higher low now the daily need to bounce again from this particular level to get a confirmation for what we are watching and discussing right now but then you actually go back on the Bitcoin and you say, okay, that same thing is valid here on the weekly for Bitcoin as well. Yes, we are below the 21 day moving average on a weekly, which is a negative thing. But yet again, we are following this trend line and we are above that. But once you actually remove the volatility using a line chart, you see that, okay, that level may not actually have a lot of confidence in the market. For one reason, there was a lot of noise involved. Once you go on a daily chart, yes, it is clear like we visited that level multiple times. But what we do want to see is that the market go back about this particular level of resistance. That's going to be $26,300. Right now, we are still close to $25,500. So that does give some level of panic in the market. We actually discussed about this possibility of a bounce back inside this pattern now we are inside that pattern and within just 24 hours we actually saw something positive so if you're watching the market on the short term side of things keep your eyes focused on this pattern because if the pattern can actually hold on and the price action stays within that pattern now you have a higher odds in the market to say like okay we are going to bounce back up we're going to retest this range of resistance somewhere close to 27 27 200 and that can actually push the assets to the upside which actually follows bitcoin so here we do observe the fact that okay xrp is some way correlated to bitcoin right now it's actually moving up comparing to all these big assets which are actually dropping so if you actually look at ether it's been dropping from this particular level in april and if you actually look at the same on a weekly you do note that we are making an abc corrective action here so now that's actually positive on the short term but you'll actually understand like okay how things evolve the buy zones for different assets look different so if you are looking further to get bit more clarity about what's happening in the market now you can look at the patreon the link is given in the description below so guys if you received value for your time please do hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already i'll meet you guys on the next video bye for now